with a free cracking up a puzzle. This man. Oh la la. Hey, have you a light? Hey, sorry, Papi, I don't smoke. Ah, a Spaniard, wonderful, a man of culture. I'm not sure <laughs> someone from the Heights qualifies as being Spaniard, but whatever. Well, exactly, whatever, whatever you say, Daddy. Excuse me? What is wrong with you? The British, they give you this beautiful, if a little awkward language, and you just debase it with whatever, or like, or fuck you, or get over yourself. In that <laughs> case, fuck you. Oh, c'est ça, oh, va te faire foutre. Oh, who am I to complain? My country is not much better. We are the worst. My people watch American television and then they complain about it afterwards. Oh la la, I am rich! Uh, time was when we would chop someone's head off and we would run around the street with it on a stick. Vive la France! Now, we are soft and miserable just like you. Hey, I'm not miserable. Well, then clearly you do not watch enough television. <laughs> you enjoy the, the bright lights and the big cities and the hope that maybe one day you become rich and stupid and, and your people. Maybe you can make a nice little TV show with you and your friends. Hey, knowing my friends, I hope not. <laughs> well, I do not come to Liberty City uh, to watch television. I come to fuck and get high. What else is there? Well, I don't know. Family? I had a family. Meaningless. Honor? Psst. Don't make me puke. No, mon ami. I had to tell you, my friend. Nothing matters in this world apart from getting your rocks off. Or getting so out of it you don't realize you haven't got your rocks off. <laughs> I like a man who's so focused. <laughs> Have you got a car? I'm not sure I want to get into a car with someone like you. Oh, <laughs> relax, relax. Uh, let's go for a drive. I like you. Uh, you find things as, as ridiculous as me. I have an appointment at the Hyatt Massage Spa on Diamond Street. Can I buy a massage for you? It's the least I can do considering your many kindnesses. No, I'm cool, bro. I don't need no slave labor for me. I like things giving up willingly. As you wish, but uh, there are pleasures distinct to the professional mistress. Uh, you may come to understand that in later years, uh, Spaniard. <laughs> yeah, okay, Frenchman. Thank you, Spaniard. I am only sorry you will not join me in this adventure. Don't catch nothing, bro. Luis! Yeah? It's me, Arnold. Thank fucking God I can see you. Thank you, God. Maybe you do exist. Uh, Arnold, what are you uh, doing down here, bro? Uh, well, we had a little incident. I don't mind when the girl play rough, but when the pimp come in and he plays rough too... Oh, la, 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 la. What happened, bro? I tell you, it is a bad combination. Chinese opium and Brazilian prostitutes? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, man. I was just nodding off after a little bit of light after dinner bondage, and when the pimp comes in, he steals my wallet and gives me a good beating. <laughs> For watching too much television? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> somehow, uh, somehow I feel my dignity is still intact. Wait a second. You're a guy who just enjoyed an opium laden threesome with some light bondage. How could your dignity ever be in question? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> my friend. Uh, well, maybe you can help me uh, get back the wallet. Hey, compared to the shit I dealt with today, okay, that doesn't sound so shady. <laughs> <laughs> so why the fuck you not? <laughs> They're just over on the Rue de Bronco.
Hey, lady, relax. I thought a free spirit like you would have mind a bit of joyriding. Why did he not just ask me for the money? If he needed it, we could have made an arrangement. Perhaps a little forward. Maybe they want to subject himself to no bondage, light or otherwise. He was perhaps more dumb than sub, that's true, but surely being a pimp implies some perversity, or at least curiosity. It would have been an experience. Yo, don't worry, bro. We're gonna subject him to some shit soon enough. Life is an unpredictable thing, my friend. You don't need to tell me. Here's an example for you to digest. This morning, a delicious 22-year-old girl left her parents' apartment in Middle Park East. The only thing on her mind was buying a coffee, but uh, I made her a proposal. Soon she was drenched in champagne, bent over naked in my hotel suite. Before 11 a.m., she was shoveling cocaine into her nose with a caviar spoon and begging me to give it to her again. And a few hours later, you was getting your ass beat by a pimp in Bohan. Life sure does twist and turn. Touche. I should introduce you to my boss, bro. You guys could party together. Ah, uh, perhaps on my next trip. Yeah, no doubt. If we survive that long, you're on. That's him. Do you think you can get my wallet back? Don't worry, bro. He ain't getting away with your wallet. Oh, what's the first boy? You ain't getting your cash back, Drop you around the corner, bro. It ain't safe here. Who ensured that he could deliver his speech? At the Civic Citadel, I'm Jenny Acorn, Weasel News. The war on fun is being won. And nightlife Mr. Big, Tony Prince, has again spoken out about this. Here's your wallet, bro. I'd stay in Afghanistan from now on if I was you. Things get rough out here in the boroughs. They do. And that's why I like it. It's your life you're playing with, bro. I just don't want to see you end up one of them deviant sex stories gone wrong. Like one of them guys who strangle themselves trying to get off. A civilian like you coming out to the point is almost a suicidal. Shit-faced on strangers. Please don't turn us into a suburb. In sweatshop news, sportswear mega corporation Eris has issued a statement defending its use of child labor in developing countries. In a statement on the Eris website, founder and CEO Eric Vassell defended child labor practices and pointed out the importance of montages and feel-good sports movies in the modern American psyche. This is Weasel News. This is Weasel News. Okay, bro. This is where I'm leaving you. You still might get robbed around here, but they won't kill you. Adieu, dear boy. It's been fun. Call me dangerous? You're deadly, bro. 